Britain had to rely more extensively on its Native American allies after France entered the war and North America became a supporting theater in Britain's overall strategic environment that it had to operate in. This led to increased raids on the frontier, most famously in Pennsylvania and in New York, and it occasioned an American response with the Sullivan Campaign of 1779. The Americans themselves tried to win Indian allies by the later stages of the war as well. Washington in particular tried to win allies from the Cherokees, who the Americans had defeated earlier in the war, and the Oneidas, the uh, Oneida nation that had sympathies with the United States. He was not very successful with the Cherokees. He was reasonably successful in winning Oneida allies, but for the most part, this was an asymmetric advantage of the British, because most Indians realized that their best interests were better served with a British victory. The problem for those Indians, even though their interests would have been better served, was that Britain's prospects of winning this war became increasingly bleak as the war went on, which is why more Indian nations opted for neutrality rather than open alliance with Britain.